Hello my bells and bats, my name is Sheena Carroll, I am the author of 13 books and on this channel we talk about making whether it is with yarn, fabric, or words. And today I want to tell you a little bit about my plans for Camp non Um, Yes, I know that it is July 7th that so I am filming this, but better late than never. Oh, and this is fast, he's just flying. And very, very cute. So I apologize if there's a bit more noise than usual and also for my kind of subpar lighting. I am filming this at 7.05 in the morning and no, I have not decided to join the 5 a.m. Writers Club. Um, it is our hot week here in Washington, which is basically the one week of the year when air conditioning becomes necessary and not and, and not a complete luxury. Um, so what I've been doing is staying up late, um, sleeping for a few hours, getting up in the coolest part of the morning when it's still about 65, 70 degrees, getting some stuff done, and then sleeping through the heat of the afternoon. <laughs> Um, because it is supposed to be at least 92 this afternoon, which is about 33 degrees Celsius. And very few places in our area, especially in terms of homes, have air conditioning. So later on, we're going to go out to the Asian grocery because that is the place I have found that has the best air conditioning. <laughs> um, so we're filming this right now quite early. Um, just to kind of get it out of the way. Um, and I do apologize for any subpar cinematography later on in this video slash vlog type of situation. Um, I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances. So one of the reasons I don't normally take part in Camp NaNoWriMo is just because it's July, it's hot, I'm usually busy, I'm usually tired because of the heat. Um, I am quite heat intolerant because of my chronic illnesses and because of some of the medications that I'm on. That is one of the things that I've been trying to rectify with the whole medication roulette that I've been going through the last few months. Um, but because 2024 has been so crazy for me, I have not gotten done most of the things that I wanted to do this year. I managed to get Midnight Radio out just barely, um, but I also wanted to go through a big rebrand and I wanted to have another book. I want, actually wanted to have two books edited by now and then I wanted to be getting ready to work on a third, um, like a first draft. However, that has not been possible. Um, Things have just been really crazy and I haven't been able to get those things done. So I'm taking advantage of this time when I don't have a day job and when I have this kind of consolidated time that other people are also working towards a similar goal to kind of focus on that. So without further ado, let's talk about what my goals actually are for July. So there are three things that I want to do this month, and then I also have two optional things like stretch goals if I have enough time. So the first thing I want to do is finish my current round of self-edits on my cozy mystery. Um, it's almost done. Um, I started working on it on this round of edits back in May. Um, I pecked at it a little bit in June, but I just I did not have the time and energy in May and June because I was traveling. Um, and then I finally made some more progress in this past week. I've got, I think, two, maybe three chapters left in this current read through. And then I need to go back and I've identified some other things that I need to add to this manuscript. So those are things that I want to get done this week. Um, and they're not necessarily plot twists or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of like set dressing. Um, it lays the groundwork for future events, and it's things that add depth and color to my setting and to my characters. So that is part one slash two. 
finish the current edits and then go through it and do the second round of edits with adding things in. Third thing I want to get done is putting together the query package for this book. Because it is a cozy mystery, I think that it's highly marketable and it's going to be easier for me to query to an agent than some of my previous work. So um, I want to get that query package together, which is not just a query letter, but I also need to do the synopsis. I need to update the outline compared to the finished manuscript. And then I also need to put together the sample packages which every agent asks for something different. So I need like first page, first 500 words, first 10 pages, first chapter, first thousand words. Um, it varies dramatically from agent to agent and agency to agency. So that's something that I need to work on this month. The optional tasks that I have identified for myself are um, I want to take another look at a manuscript I've had on ice for, I don't even know how long at this point. I think I started writing it in 2016 and that book is a hot mess and needs a lot of help, but I think I've identified two things that will make it significantly easier to work with. Um, and then lastly, I've got a couple of new book ideas and I would like to develop those a little bit if I have some time. I'm not sure if they're going to be the next things that I work on, but I at least want to make my notes, start working on like some outline synopsis type of things and getting those together. And wow, I should have worn makeup today. Oh. You can tell how hot it is just by the dark circles under my eyes because not only has it been hot and humid, but my allergies have been going absolutely crazy. Like the hay fever is no joke this week. So anyway, please ignore the checked bags underneath my eyes. Like I said, we're doing the best we can this week. So now that we've gone over the plans and the goals, let me turn you around and I will show you the notebook that I have put together for my writing. Okay, I apologize. I did have to turn my fan on here to get a little bit of air into this room before it gets too hot. I'm trying to make things as cool as possible. So this is the notebook where I'm keeping all of my writing stuff right now. This is a happy planner big, but it's just kind of made out of spare parts. Um, this cover is one that I got at the thrift store. I didn't particularly care for it. So I covered it in a sample of some uh, sticky wallpaper that we had gotten that we got for our bathroom a while back like two years ago um and just put it on here fyi use contact paper not wallpaper because the happy planner punch will not cut through wallpaper i had to cut all of these little holes by hand anyway so my first page here is just my general to-do list and these are like the one and done type of things um so I've got things like making new covers. Some of this is rebranding stuff. I've got blog posts that I need to write on here. Um, that kind of thing is this first list. So it is always right there on top. So I see it. And then this first section is my general writing stuff. So just like everything related to my writing career. This first page is my habit tracker. So we have everything that I have to do on a daily basis. Obviously, I'm not doing so great on that. Um, and then these are the things that get done weekly. And uh, then I have my monthly and my quarterly tasks right here. And those are all things that get repeated from one time frame to another. So right now, that's all I have in the general section. Um, I'm just kind of pulling things out of my catch-all planner as I need them. And then these dividers were originally by month and I just covered them with washi tape and then used a Sharpie to write the new categories on them. So this section right here is for my current cozy mystery that I'm working on. And these are my tasks that I need to do. I can't show you what's here because those are all plot related. And 
I'm actually refilming this because I accidentally did not hit record and took a still image the first time I filmed this. So I can cross all of these things off my list. I have completed my wreath through. This right here is my timeline of how I want to get things done this month. And today is July 7th. I just finished that read through so I can check that off. Um, and my next step is going to be working on those add-in scenes and little details. I'm hoping to get things up to uh, 60,000 words. Currently I'm at 54,000 so I'm not sure I can actually add 6,000 words, but we're going to try. And then these are some things that I need to do for just the series in general, and then everything that's involved in the query package. And then this page right here, I'm just trying to brainstorm some uh, title ideas for the series. Currently the working title for my cozy mystery is Crocheted Curses. However, I'm not super happy with that title, so I wrote down some of the themes of the series. So it involves a lot of knitting crochet and like sewing, magic, witchy stuff, ghosts. And then I just wrote down a list of as many words associated with those themes as I could come up with and then started pairing them to make kind of alliterative titles, which usually Cozy Mysteries, the titles are either alliterative or they are a pun of some kind, so I was just kind of brainstorming some stuff. Some of these I like, some of them are kind of meh, but we'll see how things go. And then I can't eat, show you the rest of this notebook because it is either brainstorming for books that I have not shared yet, or it is uh, story ideas that I have not written or developed yet. So that is what is in this notebook. This is kind of my guide for NaNoWriMo and for this book. I also have another notebook that is just like my story bible and it has all of my like mind maps and outlines and all of that in it for the sunflower hollow series the cozy mystery series so that is what we have now and hopefully we can make some good progress on that this month Okay, so it is about quarter after eight now. I've finished my read through, I've gone through everything. Um, I've made a note of the stuff that I need to add earlier in the book. And our current word count is 54,320 words. So I still have a little ways to go. Um, I'm not sure that I can really add 6,000 more words to this book without messing up the pacing. Um, the good thing is it is a cozy mystery so you can kind of get away with a lower word count on that and also this is the first book so um this is the first book so i think that it the lower word count works because i don't want to inundate you with too many new faces and new people um and I already know that the subsequent books are going to be a little bit longer just because we can get more into a deep dive of the secondary characters. And in this one, I had to introduce a lot of people very quickly. Um, so we didn't get to know a whole lot of them really well. And I'm sorry, the background noise is just not going away today. So I'm getting tired again. I only slept about four hours last night. So I'm going to lay down for a little bit and then probably this afternoon I will try and work some more on adding in the new material. Okay, today is July 8th. It is Monday. It is still stupid hot. It is supposed to be 95 degrees outside today, so I do have the fan on. I also have a fuzzy menace who has been causing trouble all morning. <sighs> anyway, so I made good progress yesterday. I was able to finish my read through. I was able to add the tweaks that I wanted. 
um, which still only got me up to like 54,000 words, but um, it is what it is. I made it as far as I could. Um, so I have about an hour and a half before I leave, need to leave for the day. I'm actually really tired because the heat means that I'm not sleeping that great. So I think what I'm going to do is just lay down and read for a little bit, try to take a bit of a nap until it's time for us to go. And then I will come back and work some more on my query package tomorrow. Um, it actually didn't take as long as I thought it would to do the add-on scenes that I wanted because most of them weren't even full scenes. It was just adding a line of description here or, you know, mentioning a name there, something like that. So I think that's pretty much taken care of. I'm very warm. I'm very tired. So I'm going to go lay down for a little bit and try and work on reading the novel that I'm working on. Okay, good morning. It is now Wednesday. Uh, my podcast went live this morning at midnight. Um, I did try doing it as a premiere just because I knew I was going to be awake anyway. Um, nobody was there, just me. <laughs> if you guys been like me to premiere videos and do like chats along with them, let me know. Um, obviously I would have to change the time of the premiere because right now they're going up at midnight Pacific which is just when YouTube kind of auto schedules them to go up. But I'd be willing to change that if it fit better with other people's time zones. Um, so yesterday I wrote out a query letter and sent it off to the first agent. Um, I had not intended to start querying yesterday. I might have jumped the gun a little bit on that. But, you know, you gotta start somewhere. So I went ahead and sent that off. Um, I also had my meeting with Disability Services. And surprisingly, they are willing to help me with my writing career. But there's only so much they're able to do. Just because I am more advanced in my career than most of the people that they help. Um, but I was looking at writing groups, writing guilds, um, professional memberships, things like that. Um, I'm also looking at courses that I can take in marketing that they might be willing to pay for. Um, that would also help me with like a day job job search. So I'm looking at those um, and just kind of in research mode on that. So I have made quite a bit of progress on my main to-do list. So this is where we're at right now. I've already done the query letter, which included the blurb. Um, I'm going to work on doing <clears throat> the final version of the outline today, as well as the synopsis. And then um, I'm going to be working on the stuff for book two starting today. And I'm just going to be doing planning stuff today. I do have an, another editing project that I want to do before I start with the actual writing, but I'm also not going to stop myself from writing on it if I want to. So, um, that is the plan for today. I have quite a few things I want to get done. First and foremost, I need to take care of some trash. And then we're also going to work on some blog posts and marketing stuff this morning. So that is where we are today. Um, I've been doing quite a lot the last couple of days. I'm pretty proud of my progress and what I've accomplished. So let's just keep going for the rest of July. Hello, it is Friday now. I did not get anything done yesterday. I spent most of the day running unsuccessful errands um, and sitting in government offices trying to get paperwork. Currently, Gwid is beside me being a menace. Um, this morning, it was more errands and then uh, came home and crashed. 
because it turns out when my new med wears off, I, I, I shut down. Two hour nap, there is no way around that. Um, so I'm, I need to work on balancing that a little bit better. So I'm sitting down to get some work done. I just did my job applications for the week, um, did some like job hunting stuff. And now I'm sitting down to work some more on my synopsis and the final outline for the book that I accidentally started querying this week. Um, I really want to take a shower. You can tell my hair is awful. Um, but I want to get some work done first. And then I have an SCA group. Uh, it's a full contact social, which is our crafting night. That's tonight at seven. So I want to get some work done before we go to that. So it's currently four ish, ish, give or take. Um, so I'm going to work on this for about two hours and then I'm going to take a shower and get ready to go to the group and I will talk to you later. Good morning. It is Sunday. <clears throat> if my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because my allergies have been going kind of nuts the last couple of days. I've had a lot of like pollen and seasonal stuff going on. Um, I haven't had a ton of time to work the last two days just because I've been running a lot of errands, but I am up to chapter six in my synopsis and re-outline. You can tell that it is peak travel season here. Um, one thing that I have been working on is some reorganization. So you might have gathered from some of my earlier videos that my desk isn't that large and I don't have a ton of space to work with, which meant that I was constantly moving stuff back and forth. Like I didn't have a dedicated space for any of my notebooks or stuff like that, my planners. So I was constantly having stacks of them that I was moving around. Well, I found one of those rolling carts on sale at Michael's for $40, so I went ahead and got it. So this is the cart, and it just barely fits in there. I could not get another quarter inch of space between my desk here and the secretary that I use as my vanity. I actually had to take the base off of this. It normally has wheels and those wheels protrude a little bit on each side and I had to take them off because there wasn't enough space. So what you'll see on here, I have my gooseneck lamp. I use that sometimes in my filming and it has three different colors of light. I really like this one. 
And then next to it, I have my switch with the charging dock, which makes it a lot easier to play on the television. And I've got my switch accessories down here too. I also have snacks because I always have snacks handy. Um, move these out of the way. So this is my gaming notebook that I use when I'm playing Stardew Valley and Dreamlight Valley. It's basically like my shopping list of stuff that I need to do in the game. And then I've also got um, some of these like jelly cleaner thingies. Um, I, this is the one that's already open, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is just for like cleaning up my keyboard. I'm going to put one in the car too for cleaning up the crumbs and stuff. Cause like I said, I always have snacks handy. This is my writing notebook for all of my writing business stuff. This is the, uh, story Bible for my cozy mystery. I've got my library books right here. Um, this is my podcast planning notebook, which I have been working in this morning and last night. My regular planner. Um, <clears throat> I've got some like stickers and stationary stuff in here that I use frequently. The next row, you can't really see it in the back, but I have my tub of art supplies for my markers, colored pencils, that kind of stuff lives. And then this is just like my regular pen cup. I know it's July, but seriously. Um, Magic 8 Ball, because I'm a geek. More pens. Um, this is just a blank notebook that I haven't started in yet. And then this is my knitting notebook. And then on the bottom, I've got some like oversized papers here. That's my tarot journal, Athame, because, you know, Athame. And then behind that, I have the back stock of the books I've actually written. So that cart has helped out a whole lot with organization. I have a little bit of actual floor space now. I actually had to vacuum in here, which that doesn't normally happen because normally there isn't enough floor to make it worth my while. So um, today I'm working on video stuff. I am trying to get a video done for Wednesday, but I also realized that it needs a lot more like B-roll and background video stuff that I didn't think of in advance. So that's how I'm spending today. Um, so probably very little writing stuff getting done today, um, but we will check in and see how we do later this afternoon. Good morning. It is Monday the 15th. And I just finished up doing some edits for the morning. Um, I spent all day yesterday working on getting a video out, so I wasn't able to do a whole lot of writing yesterday. But this morning I got my synopsis done up through chapter six, and I've re-outlined up to chapter eight. So when I go back to it later this afternoon or tomorrow, um, I'll be able to use that outline to write the synopsis for those two chapters, which will make things go a little bit faster. Um, the other thing that I'm doing on this pass is I am correcting my timeline issues because originally the story took place over the course of three days in the original draft, like three or four days. Um, and now the story starts on a Sunday evening and it's going to end on a Saturday. So it's a week. <laughs> and I'm having to like change days that are mentioned in the story and update my outline and my synopsis to match those. Um, because my original draft, like I said, was very short. I think originally it was something like 40,000 words. It was ridiculously short. And then as I have added things in there, um, I've needed to add extra days because there's just not enough time for her to do everything. So, um, working on that, um, I'm getting ready to do a little bit of filming for probably my next video that I release. 
and then which my next video is going to be a writing video and then we're going to have another crafting video after that i'm trying to alternate between the two and um, give you guys a more even spread so that if you are here for the writing you know you're getting at least every two weeks something that you want to see and if you're here for the crafting every two weeks because i do not have the bandwidth to run two different channels <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do some filming now and um, then take a lunch break. And then I do have an interview this afternoon. So I'm going to get ready for that. Um, and then I will check in later if I get back to more writing. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I woke up with a really bad headache and then immediately had to redo the, my bedding because I smelled a bowl of cereal on it. So um, we're gonna take the rest of this morning to just be quiet and maybe read a little bit, do some knitting, and then we will try again this afternoon to get some writing done. I also need to run to the pharmacy today um, because I'm always running to the pharmacy. And I'll check in again later because right now this is, this is not happening. <laughs> right now. Okay, a vlog check-in time. It is Wednesday the 17th and I got no writing done yesterday. Um, no editing. I was in research mode. Um, my headache really kind of took it out of me. I think it was like on the border of a migraine and then I had like a migraine hangover thing going on and the heat. And I just didn't feel good yesterday. So I mostly just sat on my bed and I made notes and I organized stuff. I'm not gonna show you the main notebook that I was working in yesterday, which is actually that silver one behind me because that is mostly um, unemployment and uh, disability services stuff. Um, I am kind of thinking about doing a video about that if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but mainly, I was working in my planner, which is mostly just list making. There wasn't really anything of interest or note there. And then, uh, also working in my story notebooks. So as part of my organization and setting up the little pencil pouches that I showed you in a recent video. Um, this is what one of those bundles looks like, and these are just elastic loops I got from Daiso. I needed a bigger, thicker one than what I had on hand, so I went ahead and knit this up. This is just a very basic garter stitch with a slipped stitch at the beginning of each row to keep it from warping or stretching too much. And this is the pencil pouch for it, which it does fit under that band. I just had to take it out in order to make it fit on my cart over here. So this is my writing business notebook. This is my uh, one and done to-do list, which was taken care of. And then yesterday I made my repeating tasks to-do list for August. Just right here and then I'm also doing research on um, other booktubers people in the book community that I can send promo boxes to or uh, PR boxes this is some notes that I actually pulled out of a different notebook which is right here and I'm not going to show you the inside of this one because this has a bunch of story notes for books that I haven't started yet. So um, this is like writing ideas, story ideas, plotting, that kind of stuff for books that I'm not working on at the moment. And then this one is general business and the current book that I'm working on. It does also have a section for story ideas, but that's just for like the one or two line summary type of thing. So that is what I was working on for most of yesterday. Um, 
I will show you the inside of my disability services and unemployment notebook at some point, but that's going to be a future video because right now a lot of it is in flux and obviously there's a lot of personal information in there that I don't want to share on the internet. So we will get there eventually, but today is not that day. Um, plans for today. I filmed a video this morning. I need to um, start editing next week's video, which is going to be the third creatively anachronistic installment. I also need to make a shot list for that. I might also end up re-recording the audio for that video because one of the struggles that I had with video number two in that series is I had originally filmed it as a sit down but with like some shots overlaid on it and I think that it's working best as a voiceover style video um, which is one of the reasons why I added in the uh, crafting content in that one where I was finishing up projects because it was too boring to watch when it was just me sitting there as a talking head and I didn't have enough video or stills to fill in the gaps. So I need to come up with a really good shot list for this video. <clears throat> I also need to time it and see how long it's going to be because the other problem with video number two was it was about five minutes long and I'm trying to keep my videos around the 15 minute mark and then podcasts can go up to about 30. Sometimes vlogs are longer, obviously. Um, but I'm trying to keep it in the 15 to 30 minute range and the five minutes was just really short. So um, I'm gonna get some work done today. Um, it is about time for me to eat something uh, because my morning meds should have kicked in by now. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Oh, and I did rearrange my desk again because my cat is a menace and kept knocking things over. So now I have a lot more space for my notebooks and stuff. I don't have to move stuff around every time I want to work. And the video I just filmed, which was about my TBR, meant that I cleared up some space right here. Excellent. So let's put some stuff away so that we can get to work. Good morning. Today is a Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Sunday. It is the 21st, which means that it is Hermes' 17th birthday today. Hermes is my tuxedo cat that you might see in some of my videos. He was an absolute menace the other day when I was recording a video, so you've definitely seen him if you've watched anything I've posted recently. Um, anyway, today is Sunday and I finished up the synopsis and the outline on Friday, but I didn't get a chance to check it. Um, so because I have finished with that part of my goal, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off on this vlog. Um, and then my next thing that I'm gonna do is, um, I'm actually not gonna work on my like stretch goals that I had down because in the process of doing the synopsis and the outline, I discovered that there were at least two more scenes that I could add that would enhance the mystery and make the, not make the twist at the end less left field, but it would um, give you a better hint at who the culprit was. Um, it, it's hard to explain without giving away the whole thing at this point. Um, but there's a couple more scenes I want to add. There is a character I want to remove. And then I think that we will be ready for a couple more query letters. And it should only take me a couple of days to do the changes because they're not huge. Um, it's just like, I need her to overhear a conversation and I need a character to reveal a little bit more in a conversation, like not more in a specific subject, but more about a different subject, like 
bring a second subject into the conversation. I'm not explaining this very well. This is what happens when you're writing mysteries and trying to explain them without giving a single thing away. Anyway, um, so I just got out of the shower. I have some errands I'm doing today. Probably won't get a chance to write or anything, at least not until late this afternoon. Um, but that's where we are right now. So I'm going to sign off and we'll have a second vlog for the second half of, well, I guess the second, third. It, it's 9 a.m. I haven't even had my latte yet. Um, anyway, I, I'm just going to go now before I ramble and make even less sense than I do normally. So, See you next time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. As a reminder, I do have links to my Ko-Fi shop, my newsletters down below. I have a new one for people who would like to become beta readers for me. Um, this means that you get access to early drafts in exchange for feedback. Um, I've also got a mailing list for advanced reader copies. And there's all kinds of stuff down in that description bar. Take a look at it. Um, also, I believe at the time that this video is going up, I will have recently had a major shop update on my Kofi shop. So also make sure that you check out that link because I'm going to be adding ebooks as well as de-stash and finished items onto the shop. Um, so check that out. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope you have something cute and fluffy to cuddle with. Ciao!